Hello everyone, I just wanted to give you a real quick tutorial on how I use the Comic Life app to create my yearly plan. So as you can see, this is my K-2 yearly plan, and this is my grades 3-5 to five yearly plan. So what I did first was I went into my school district's uh, website, and I got their calendar. And after I downloaded the calendar, what I did was I took a screenshot, uh, which is basically holding the home button and the um, on-off button on the iPad at the same time. And what happens then is it goes directly into your camera roll. So what I did was once it was in my camera roll, which is here, I ended up using the crop tool, which is on the top right next to the word details. And then on the bottom left, next to the uh, sort of flashing wand, is the cropping tool. And I ended up cropping all of the months for the calendar. And again, I did screenshots uh, 10 times to make sure I could get every month in. And then what you see, as follows, is all of the months that were cropped based on how I just did that. And then what I did was I went into the Comic Life program and I put all of those on one sheet just to make sure that they were all sort of the same size. And as you can see, they're all roughly about the same size. Didn't have to be perfect, but as close as I could get it. And then what I did was I went into a, a blank sheet. But what I'm going to show you here is just how I did it on the yearly plan. I'm going to get rid of the border here. And um, after I put all of the months in, as you can see, there's five on the left and five on the right. Then what I did was I got uh, some text boxes, which on the bottom left, you'll see the words, you'll say A, B, C, D, E with a box around it, and then the words lettering underneath. But I hit that box there, and I was able to put in whatever unit I wanted to do. And you can adjust the font and all that if you want to. I selected it all, and I centered it. And then once that was good and I liked it, I put it up. And then from there, if you go to the paintbrush on the top right, you can fill that with whatever color you want. Any other colors that are up here. So I ended up using for that one, I used a particular orange color. Adjusted it a little bit and uh, made it a little bit orangey. Try to get as close as I could. And then what I did was I hit the paintbrush again and then went to options and then border and then put a couple of bolder borders around it. And then I like to put a little shadow effect on it as well. You can put a little shadow if you'd like. And then what I did was I took the top right, the plus, and I added one of the shapes. So you see the arrow, one of the shapes, and I used the triangle. And then the triangle, I just rotated it over and made it, again, where I needed it to be. You can adjust the triangles by touching the top or the bottom little dots there. And then again, you can adjust the fill. I just wanted uh, just a white fill. And you could even put no fill. No, nope, I wanted the white fill. And again, the border, I put a couple of borders on there. And then if I wanted to put the effects on there, I could too. And then I just imported that and put that over, you know, and then kind of did it that way. So after I did all that, what I then did was, and I'm going to get rid of this, um, I put a border around it. And I should have done that at first, and sometimes I forget, but I can do it at the end. So I just take a shape, find the lines that are on the borders on the side. It'll just snap into place. And again, hit the paintbrush, hit no fill water up and then I'm ready to go. So that's how I did my yearly plan. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Hope this tutorial was uh, beneficial for you. And as you can tell, I absolutely love the Comic Life program. So thanks again for watching.